Hey, I hope you're doing well. So I wanted to show you my process for bringing trees made by the Grove 9 plugin in Blender, bringing those trees into Unreal Engine. Um, the trees that this software makes are amazing trees. They're highly detailed, um, really nice. They've got these little twig things that you can buy uh, to make all different kinds of trees. And they're basically like little 3D models that get tacked on through particle system. Uh, right now there's a special going on till December 12th, 20% off. So you can go check that out. I'll have a link down below in this video description, but because they're so high detailed, they're not that great for game engines like Unreal Engine. So I'm going to show you what I do to get those into Unreal Engine. So first thing first, you'll want to go to, um, Quixel and find some some objects. So if you if you type in uh, bark, you can find um, various different barks that you might want to use for your tree surface. So I've already downloaded a couple, but these are these are nice texture surfaces you can bring into Unreal Engine for free, obviously. Um, so I'm also going to look for a maple leaf under Atlas. This is the one down here that I downloaded because it's got some twigs already associated with it. Um, there are four in this little pack. So I've already downloaded those and I'll show you how I bring those in. So first things first, I'm going to turn on my little uh, screencast keys so you can see what I typed down in the bottom. Um, and we'll do add mesh plane. So now we've got a plane here, uh, basic plane, no material, but I want to go to, to this material and I want to create a new one and basically bring in my twig material. I, you would think you'd bring in the albedo, but it's actually easier to see if you bring in the opacity first. So I will, uh, Ah, didn't bring it in. All right, then we'll go to twigs. And we'll drag, just drag the opacity in like this, and we'll assign the color to that. So now you can see the outline of, of the twig there. I'm going to go back to layout and press tab to um, bring this up. And I'm going to go to knife, and I'm just going to like trace out some areas around this. Um, I want to create like two different. I'm going to use two of these, two of the four, just to kind of keep it simple. I'll do that. And then I'm also going to trace out this guy here. You can be more exact if you want. All right, so we've got that. I'm going to go to here. I'm just going to select this line and dissolve edges. So I'm going to select all these. Ah, control Z. I'm going to do uh, effect, vector mode or vertex mode. Sorry. Um, I'm going to delete this edge here and we'll delete these vertex. Okay. So we've got these two right here. So I'm going to tab over. I'm just going to move these. I'm going to do a G and a X and slide it over till I get that where I want it. And then G Y. I just want the end of the stem to be basically right at the center there. I'm going to do apply all transform. So I'm going to call this one um, twig A and I'm going to shift duplicate and I'll call this one twig B. All right, so I'll turn twig A off. Now I want to actually select this and we'll delete that. So this is our twig A and I'm going to go to twig B and we'll delete that guy. And we'll actually take this and do G Y and G X to line that tip up there. And we'll do object apply 
I'll transform. And then we got these two guys here. All right, so this first one, twig A here, I also want, I want it to have this, but I also want to give it a little bit more um, density to it. So I'm going to duplicate this again, and I'm just going to uh, rotate on the Z, and then I'm going to rotate on the X like that, and then I'm going to rotate on the Y and kind of like create like this. All right, so now I've got a little bit of depth to that. So I've got two two things that are coming off this one little point here. Um, I'm going to take this one, hold shift, do control J, combine those back to twig A and rename it. All right, so I've got twig A and we got twig B. Twig B, I know I want it to be on the end, so it needs to run along this um, red axis. So I'm going to take this one, rotate around the Z until it kind of lines up with the stem, aligns up with the X axis there. And then again, we'll do apply all transforms. All right, so we got those twig A and B. I want to go into the sh shading, and I'm going to fix up these materials a little bit better. This color is actually going to go into the alpha, and this is not going to be there. And then I'm going to take this albedo, drag that in. This is going to go there. All right, so we've got that, that. This is non-color opacity. And here we want to change this to alpha hashed. So now we've got our leaf. There's some other stuff. I, I'm just going to apply it later in um, Unreal Engine. All right. So if we go back to layout, you're going to see because they're using both the same material, we've got all that set up for both twigs. Okay. So now we'll go to our grove here after we save this guy. And we'll do add grove. And I'm just going to change the end to twig B. You can see it's six straight up and I'm going to change the side to twig A. So it's got some stuff going off the side there and I'm going to start to grow this tree. So we're going to do um, grow. That's our first little guy there. I'm going to grow it again. So now we're a little bit bigger. Let's see how big we actually are here. We five meters. So you can see our leaves are actually too big. Um, so I'm going to take this plane here and I'm just going to scale it down to about like that. And I'm going to take this one and scale it down to maybe like that. Okay, so those, those look more appropriate on the tree there. So we want to go ahead and make sure that with these We do object, apply, all transform in here, object, apply, all transforms. Okay, so we've got all that. This tree looks pretty nice. If we don't like the shape of it, we could just do um, regrow, and it's going to change its shape and grow a new one for us, which is the beauty of this. We can say, oh, I don't like these little twigs here. We'll just prune prune that off. I'm going to prune this off. So now we don't have any low limbs. Um, let's say you got this up against a building. You are making your little custom tree and you want it to maybe bend away from the building a little bit. So we'll do this little, this is a new feature. You add in, bend the tree out a little bit and maybe prune it. We'll do like a straight cut prune here because it's going to be up against our building thing. So we've got kind of like a specialty tree here that we've just um, we've just constructed bending, all that kind of stuff. Very, very unique and uh, very nice looking. Looks really nice. Okay, so now we've got this. We'll do file, save, and I'm going to select this tree and I'm going to go file, export, FBX. 
We'll go to exports, and I'm going to call this uh, Maple V2. And we'll do select objects, mesh, and that looks good. We'll do export FBX. Check our file here. All right, so we're right there. We're at 2 megabytes, 2.2 megabytes. File save. Okay, so let's go into Unreal. All right, cool. Here we are. We're going to go to UE Assets, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Maple Tree 2. All right, so we've got this. This is our old maple tree here. We'll just turn around so we don't look at that one. And we'll do import and go to maple version 2. So we'll do open. In here, this is what we want to choose. We want to say, make sure we say combine meshes. That's going to combine the leaves with the um, branch stuff. And then we'll make sure we go down, create new materials. We want new materials. And we'll say import. All right, cool. So we got our tree here. And you can see we've got some material set up. So this is, I'm going to actually rename this to um, leaves, maple, material. And then this um, is going to be the branch. I'm going to rename this one um, branch maple material. All right. So one thing we want to bring in, we know we got our materials here. So we're going to go to um, our twigs. And we've already got our albedo material. But we need our normal opacity and roughness. So I'm going to take these three and drag them in. OK, so we imported those. And then for our trunk, we want uh, this D40 maple with the normal. OK, so we've got our all that stuff. So we'll open up the leaves first here. And we've got a basic, basic material set up and one thing I want to bring in, obviously, is we're going to first bring in the roughness, and I'm going to tie that into the roughness here. And then I'm going to bring in opacity. That'll get tied in to the mask. And then we'll bring in the normal. And this normal is going to go into normal. All right, so we want to take this and we want this to be a mast so we've got our our leaf going here um, we want it to be two-sided and actually we want to make it um, two-sided foliage and we want to make it two-sided so this is our shader set up there. We've got that going. And then um, we want to add some surface, subsurface color to this. OK, so we don't want to pull that directly in. We want to break that. And we want to put in a multiply node. And that is going to go in there. And then this is going to go in the B. And then we're going to take the color and we're going to drop that into the A. So. Basically, the light will kind of scatter through these, the red light. Um, I change this to and we'll tweak this once we get this in. Okay, so we'll do save this for now and because I want to tweak this I'm actually going to convert to a parameter and do um, 
call this subcolor. And then we'll save this. And then I will take this um, material and create a material instance out of that. And then we'll let's go to the um, this thing. And this is all kinds of messed up. So I'm going to delete that and delete that. And we're going to take the bark, bring that in, connect that to the base color. I'm going to bring the normal in and connect that to the normal there. So we've got that. We'll just make that simple like that. Done. All right. So one more thing that I want to do to this is add a little bit of movement um, to this. So I'm going to add like a uh, a simple grass wind here, and I'm going to promote this to a parameter, the intensity, and promote that, and then. I'm going to pull this off. Let's see. Promote. That's my UV, but I'm going to break that link. I'm just going to steal it and tie that into there. And then this is going to go up to the world position offset. So now if I set the base to 0.3, the default, 0.3. Okay, we get a little bit of movement there. So we're going to save that. All right, so now I'll check this tree out. We got some movement and we got leaves. And they look pretty good. And you can see it's our little custom tree that's been pruned the way we like it and bent the way we like it. All right, so we're gonna save that. But first, I instead of having this material, I'm actually going to apply the instant instance to it so that'll be that'll be that okay so there's our maple tree and let's do save all and drag this tree in and see how it looks here oh yeah look at that wow see isn't that beautiful? See how that light comes through those leaves? Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that right there. See that? And this is your uh, custom, custom tree here, made in Blender and brought into Unreal. And the performance should be pretty decent. Um, I know I've got a bunch of other things in this scene that's kind of eating up, but I'm like 100 frames per second right now. So that's that's pretty, pretty good. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful and hope you can start making a bunch of trees for your projects and Unreal and um, have fun with, with Grove 3D. It's an amazing add-on to Blender that you can create some some beautiful stuff with and of course the materials and stuff from Quixel are uh, are a good match to go to go with that tree um, the Grove 3D so check it out let me know if you have any comments and uh, thanks for watching subscribe let me know if you want to see some other videos about certain things and um, Look forward to making more. Hear what you guys think. Thanks.